302 8th Street Northeast, Washington, D.C., right in the heart of the Capitol. Come in, let me introduce you. Welcome to Lock Love Salon. We here at Lock Love are an award-winning natural hair care salon that focuses on natural hair care and lock artistry. We believe in the inherent beauty of natural hair and take a more of an educational, holistic approach to natural hair to preserve hair quality and assure healthy growth. We have an in-salon marketplace stocked to the core full of essential products to promote healthy hair, which we also use ourselves. All of our stylists are well versed in all things natural hair care. Locks, extensions, flat twist updos, kid styles. We are here to promote your best you. Come to Lock Love so you can be locked in love and we'll see you beyond the red door. Listen vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh. Thursday night team. Thursday night team. Thursday night team. It's Thursday night team. With Anthony. Thursday night team. Thursday night team. Thursday night team. It's Thursday night team. With Anthony. Thursday night team. With Anthony. Sports, truth with comedy, community mixed with a little celebrity. Every Thursday night at 6 in the evening. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. With Anthony. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. It's Thursday night tea. With Anthony. Thursday night tea. With Anthony. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. DC's number one recording studio. Oh. Thursday night team. Thursday night team. Thursday night team. It's Thursday night team. With Anthony. Thursday night team. Thursday night team. Thursday night team. It's Thursday night tea with Anthony. Thursday night tea with Anthony. New sports, truth with comedy, community mixed with a little celebrity. Every Thursday night at six in the evening. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea with Anthony. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea with Anthony. Woo! Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea with Anthony. Hey! Welcome to Thursday night tea with Anthony and Bro. What's up? What's up? How we doing out there? Hey, baby. Yo, I'm good. How are you? I'm amazing right now. Look at this hair. I'm having a really good hair day. But you always have a good hair day, Brock. That's true. That's oh true. That happened. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe, Maybe not. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah. Is it Maybelline, Kylie? I ooh, no. Good is it? <laughs> My girlfriend's in the studio right now, so don't call yes, her. Yes, Kylie. Crazy. Kylie. Yeah, Kylie. Good for Kylie. We have a great show today. Of course, we have Brock Snyder, super comedian, uh, super businessman, as my co-host <laughs> today here at Listen Vision Live in the capital of Washington, D.C. Yay! Yeah, we're here. DMV. Woo! We have insurance guru Willie Beverly here, who's going to talk about life insurance policies, how to make them work for you. Insurance! Uh, yeah, give you a leg up on that. And we have Commissioner Monique Gio. Yeah, from the Ward A. Ward A. She's here. We're going to talk about the community because, you know, we're all about news, sports, news, community, and celebrity. Um, we have a super awesome show. We have super funny, hilarious comedian Becca Lundberg. <laughs> She's going to set the stage ablaze. Brock, where are you from? Uh, I am from Bowie, Maryland. 
Bowie, remember that's shout PG. out to Bowie. <laughs> I guess Bowie in the house. Bowie, PG County. Yeah, I don't go home very often. That's, <laughs> I don't. I don't. But you know, I went to high school in Gonzaga over on North Capitol in DC. So I didn't. I, I took the Mark train from Bowie State University to Union Station almost every day. So you're basically from DC. I'm basically from DC. I'm, but I mean, no one's from DC. So how long have you been doing comedy? Oh God, I think we just rounded out like four years. Four, Four years. years. In fact, I got uh, I got my first and last tattoo to celebrate three years in comedy. Check it out. Boom. Oh, laugh yeah. out loud. L O L. You were unbuttoning your shirt. I didn't know what I was going to do. Thursday night. Okay. But Thursday. <laughs> it's not that type of show, Brock. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. <clears throat> so Excuse four me. years yeah. in. So you're doing this thing now. Uh -oh. That's like super taken off. I'm super proud of you. Tell everybody what you're doing. Uh, so I put a little bit of product to my hair every day, and yeah, I just the other out. thing. Okay, yeah. So yeah. So I mean, I've been producing comedy shows for like three and a half years. Bars, restaurants. Thank you. It's been crazy. We even ran a show in an old folks' home once. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did it. <laughs> Granny. Granny Werthers. Woo. Granny. Uh, and then and then you know I knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy. Hey, you know? yo, hey, and, yo, hey, 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 doing? Hey, hey, you know my mother. Uh, and he got me my foot in the door to run an apartment complex comedy show, a luxury apartment. And then that was about a year ago. And we were in the Washington Post for it a couple months ago. We've done about 30 different venues. We've been to Chicago. We're in talks to go to Philly. We're, you know, we're, we're anywhere where there's a luxury apartment, we're going to put a comedy show. Yo, it's amazing. Awesome. I've been on these shows. And when we say luxury, like I remember one show I went to, they were like, oh, go downstairs. It was a full like theater, bowling alley, like video games, yeah. stage, beer. They have free beer. Okay. <laughs> like I don't know how people live that way. I don't. I could. I, not, know, I, I would do never want to live that it. way and all that la that luxury. Yeah. But the cool thing about these shows, I feel, is like you know, we it really we're we're bringing comedy to people to otherwise have no idea how to find it or how good it really is. So by bringing it to them on a silver platter and serving them alcohol and so they can't stand, they 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 love comedy, you know. Um, and then it gives comedians a chance to like really like potentially you know get people to follow you and you know after each one of these shows you know people hang around like wow like when's your next show boom you just sold three tickets you know so they're really fun I mean I, I love doing these shows I love hosting these shows it's funny we just did a we did a show in Chicago and they said we could use the facilities so we went downstairs they had like a sauna steam <laughs> a goddamn hot tub oh. that could seat 45 people I'm sorry yeah. sorry <laughs> sorry baby hey. hey. Hey, he's good. About that. Yeah, anyway. he's but yeah, these shows are really fun. So if you live in a luxury apartment complex, come find me and we'll we'll do a show there. I'm super proud of you. Thank like you. Yeah, I know, but I've all, like you've ever since I came on the scene almost two years ago. Can you believe that? That is yeah, almost two years. I know. I know, dude. That, I remember when I met Anthony. I was, I was like, yo, this kid's got something. But you always show me love. You accept Thank me you. with open arms, and I'm totally appreciative of that. I just want to let every you let Thank you know you. and let Thank everyone you. know. Um, yeah, yeah, I love Brock. So we're about to get into the show. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, first prayers for Houston. Um, you know, Houston is going through a very devastating time. Um, that is, I just can't even wrap my head around this picture right here. Like, they're totally submerged. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. No, that's even, insane. Yeah, I don't I can't even. Some people don't know how to swim. No. Yeah, that's, it's that's, that's rough. I'm probably trying to have a good time. I was thinking about that the other day. Like if I was there, people, like, I see people. I've been trying to run a comedy time, show at, at the mega church. Did you see the picture <laughs> of the guy? He was like in a little baby float with the umbrella behind yeah, the news lady. Like was people, having a good time. I, I would see that's how I would have to deal with the situation yeah, yeah, in order yeah. for me to stay sane. Mm -hmm. Like you know, yeah. stay sane, people. You're in our prayers. What do Definitely. you think about Kevin Hart um, doing the challenge? Hey, uh, better him than me. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> No, I mean, I think that's Oh, awesome. look at Kevin Hart. That's a good oh. picture. That's a good picture. I thought it was Rob Gordon for a second. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> shout out to Rob Gordon. Oh, Rob Gordon, shout out. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's amazing. You know, if you got the money, uh, you know, uh, share it with the world. You know? Yeah. Uh, and and better, better this than anything else, especially when Trump's trying to defund, you know, ABCDFG to build a wall that we don't need. Exactly. I think J.J. Watt... Um, uh, he's from, he's like a super, I mean, an NFL player. He <clears throat> did a fundraiser and he's collected like $10 million yeah. so far. Boom. For Houston. Um, so shout out to Kevin. Shout out to JJ who's doing their part. Um, and shout out to, you know, Donald Trump and Melania. They're on their way to Texas. Uh, we have a picture of them. They're about to um, 
to head on out to Texas. I think they're going to have a nice, uh, well-done steak dinner with some ketchup later. They have to get to. <laughs> yeah, I think Malat. Yeah. Oh, oh there, there they, they go. go. Hey, oh, look, look no. Looking great. Oh, look, they criticized. Oh now they God. criticized uh. Donald Trump for wearing heels. No, he's working it. In the flood, yeah. they criticized him, so they went back and changed, um, and then they they made it right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jesus. That is so great. I mean, stilettos, pumps, yeah. in the flood. <laughs> they rocking stilettos out. She rocking stilettos out. <laughs> you think they're not Uggs, right? Okay. <laughs> Yo, she, I guess she didn't want to get her ankles wet, like in the floodwaters. Oh, I don't know. That was like not utilitarian. Sure, Trump knows someone who can pee on them if he okay. really wants to. <laughs> pee on her ankles. Um, so, yeah, that was crazy. So the other day, Trump and Ann Coulter met um, for uh, to discuss climate change. Uh, we have a picture of their meeting. Yeah, um, there we go. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they got a lot accomplished at this meeting. And hey, thanks to Fox News for getting that picture to us. I know. know. Really, Thank you, Fox News. We really appreciate it. They did that. it really expediently as yeah. well. Yeah, good for them. Um, they were there. But really, Ann Coulter is so stupid. Like, she is so stupid. She tweeted this. I don't believe Hurricane Harvey is God's punishment for Houston electing a lesbian mayor, but that's more credible than climate change. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Is Ann Coulter an android or a human? Who'd get your ears <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. That was the alien noise. Oh, it's She's an alien. Ah! Oh, God. But it said answer unclear anyway. Yeah, no, so, it's clear. Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. And it's clear. is like something that Voldemort pooped out. Like, it's like concentrated, concentrated evil. She's the worst. No. So um, we have more coming up today. We have more. We got stand up from Brock. We got stand up from Becca. We've got the insurance guru Willie Beverly coming up. We got Commissioner Monique coming up. Um, next, we're gonna um, bring up uh, Willie Beverly. He's an insurance guru. He's gonna talk about life insurance policy, how to make them work for you, how to borrow against it, how to leave uh, for your children legacy. We're talking about legacies, people. Four, four, four. Did anybody? Um, listen to Jay-Z's album. We're trying to, you know, leave things for our children, and that is one way to do it. So we're going to come back. When, first, we're going to pay these bills, and then we're going to come back for more Thursday Night Tea with Anthony and B-R-O-C. K. Hey. You saved that for last minute. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like I woke up, and I was a comedian, and then it was like I had my own show. It's crazy. <laughs> Thursday night tea, 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 Thursday
welcome back to Thursday Night Tea with Anthony and Willie. Hey, we got Willie Beverly in the house, insurance guru. First, I want to take time to thank the people that are watching. Whitney Daniel, Trey Fo in the house. Uh, we have Romy Rom, House of Mugler, Wayne, CDG, Headley. Thank you for watching. House of Garcon, Cuzzo, Denise Smith, Tony Brooks, Christy, Famo in the house, Tony, Christy, Troy. Candace is watching. Shout out to Candace Ogg. It's one of the hardest working comedians in the in the biz. In the biz. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Thursday Night Tea with Anthony. We are here at Listen Vision Live, and we're also here with the insurance guru Willie Beverly, who's going to talk about us. Uh, going to talk with us about life insurance policies and insurance. How are you doing, Willie? I'm doing great, sir. Thank you for having me back. I'm having a great time. But of course, you know, I enjoy this. Is home. This is love, family, everything. Yes, it is, sir. So we have to get back to where we left off yes, at from yes. the first show mm -hmm. when you had that interesting question on does marijuana count towards life insurance as far as smoking or non-smoking because we brought that up when you when you do your insurance policies they ask you do you right, smoke are right. you a smoker it can make your premiums go up or be low you know what i'm right. saying so but does it differ with tobacco and marijuana good now that marijuana question. is legal so we went back to the lab and we did a little research and so we found out that there's no conclusive evidence that marijuana is related to tobacco yes Whoa. so right now we're safe <laughs> if that answers questions you're welcome you're welcome <laughs> now go and get your policies all of you <sighs> You potheads who just didn't want to go get your policies because you were scared of the smoking question. Now you have your smoking answer. Do it. Thank you. Prescription swabs or not. Right. <laughs> what else we got going on, Will? Well, we're going to talk about what our, what our firm really does um, when it relates to health insurance and, yes, life insurance. So we're just going to touch today on a few of the main things that we help every single day with small business and mid-side businesses because we know that retention of employees is so important and without not having proper insurance or even life insurance or disability insurance it's hard for people to stay committed to one thing true so we at MWE partnership have formulated with a bunch of great companies to organize with us to help us provide affordable health and life and voluntary benefits because people i think they get scared about what the price is going to be exactly so they do. i they, mean they're yeah, scared i like that word affordable can Affo you say it with me affordable, affordable. thank you <laughs> yes so some of the services that we provide just as a snapshot um is telemedicine we know that, that is up and rising in today's economy because a lot of people can't afford to take off from work when you have your child has a cold or your husband is sick and they can't afford to take off from work you, probably 90 percent of people can't take off from work <laughs> you know what i'm saying for 71 real. is where exactly where we are right now 71 percent oh and i was 71. just being funny it, it, it's true we know that 68 percent of americans cannot even afford out-of-pocket expenses for health care and health costs so think about that in relation to disability you know where does this money come from it has to come from somewhere so providing services such as Disability insurance, short-term disability, and of course, yes, life insurance. Because we all have to find a way to bridge that gap of where health insurance has just dropped off the map. Now, when you say additional like health insurance, are you, do you mean like AFLAC? AFLAC is one vessel because those are voluntary benefits. Those are supplemental benefits that fill the gaps for deductibles, co-pays, those very expensive deductibles that we're coming up. Now that we know that the average deductible has went up $1,000, we know that the average copay has went up 35 to $40. Wait a minute, and that's an additional $1,000 that you have to pay out of pocket? Out of pocket. Oh, I don't have $1,000. Yeah, I don't, I don't have uh, any. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't have any. Uh, so outside of that, you're looking at some of the voluntary benefits that we offer, such as identity theft, legal protection, cancer coverage, um, critical illness, which is heart attack or stroke. Those things are so important to our communities and to our people as far as working every day because one accident, one sickness can literally 
destroyed our company, destroy our finances. Because you're living paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. And who can afford to take a $1,000 cut a week? But Affleck, I, the, I love those additional type of plans because, you know, if you are out of work for places that don't, that you don't have vacation days or sick days, like I right. work for a salon. So if you don't work, you don't get paid. You don't exactly. get your money. So if you get sick, what are you going to do? But if you have Affleck, they pay you for the days that you're out. Yes. So you can still pay your bills. Yes. It's like, for me, it's, it's, it's not, I don't know, it's. It's not rocket science. You know it's what I'm not, saying? Like, it's, cover yourself. It's all about education. It's all about informing people what's available to them without a whole lot of out-of-pocket expenses. Because most companies that pick up these policies, it's no charge to them. So, therefore, they can take this discount savings and add it and give it to their clients, to their, to their, uh, to their people. So that they can have affordable voluntary benefits that's going to mess and coincide of their health insurance. These things are so vital to them to have. Um, when you talk about disability and life insurance, there are so many things out here that are affordable, individual policies. Um, we work with a number of companies such as Baltimore Life. Um, you have Transamerica. You have Unum. You have all these companies that we have resources and access to to get affordable health care and long-term care and short-term care to them without stressing out and worrying how am I going to make this happen how can we afford this mortgage if someone gets sick I mean that's what it really comes down to so what about a life insurance policy now we were talking the other day about what's up Adrian Trump Keller Roshanika who does my hair at Lock Love shout out to Roshanika hey um, life insurance policies, you can borrow against those policies, correct? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. In some cases, you can borrow against those policies, um, even up to 4% on a monthly basis. And that's considered something like a universal policy, uh, where you get a, a whole care policy that's built in with a term, and then that gives you the flexibility to borrow against it um, to take care of medical expenses, health care expenses, uh, home care, just, you know, nursing, things like that. So you have so much access to different things. It's just a simple phone call away to contact us and say, hey, how do I get that information? Show us how we can get these things for our company. You know, we have companies that has one, two employees, three employees. What about them? They need us, and we need them because that's how we grow ourselves, by reaching back and giving back to our community so that we can help them afford health care. We can help them afford life insurance. So let's get rid of a GoFundMe account. Go let's get rid of that. Yes, GoFundMe is not that. an insurance policy. If I see that on let's Facebook do that one anymore. more time, like, yo, this let's dude been dead for, for two other. weeks and you haven't, it's like, no, prepare yourself. Yes. Proper plan, I learned this a long time ago, the six Ps, proper planning prevents piss poor performance. Right. Mm-hmm plan so where can people find you well you can find me um directly well my well my direct contact is 240-485-9533 that is my direct line to me or you can email me at willie.beverly at mwesolutions.net and we also have anthony something brand new to our to our reservoir is a payroll company we can cut payroll companies in half Cut it up, providing cut it up, cut these it up, services cut it up. for our payroll companies and uh, small businesses who don't want to worry about W-2s and 1099s and all of that, we have those services available that yeah, will that's slice a lot service. of companies That just cuts out half. so much that the owner would have to take care of. Take the worries off his hands yes. and come on with us and let us help you solve your problems when it comes to insurance. Thank you, Willie. Thank you, Willie, sir. You always come by the show and drop so much knowledge. Y'all give Willie it. a round drop of applause. It. Thank with you. MWE. Thank you for having me. Yes, partnership. We're going to come right back, pay some more of these bills. We're going to come back with a super funny, hilarious Brock Snyder. <laughs> Thursday night tea. Oh, my God. It's like I woke up and I was a comedian. And then it was like I had my own show. It's crazy. <laughs> Thursday night, 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 Th
Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. Thursday night tea. Thursday night. Thursday night tea. 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 Welcome back to Thursday Night Tea with Anthony. We've got a super funniest, hilarious, I said a super funniest. <laughs> that is correct. Super funniest comedian coming to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm round of applause for Brock Snyder. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. How are we feeling? Let's envision studios. Let me just say, yeah. Okay, that was uh, that was okay. That was that was all right. Hey, I want to give it up for uh, for Willie, the insurance guru. Wow, that was that was tough. That was like an episode of Scared Straight for insurance, and I don't ever want to watch. Like, I'd rather get lost in a lens crafter, to be totally honest. Like, damn, because I don't have insurance, so I just you know. I just, I just hope, I just hope for the best and, and pray to God that I don't, you know, break my foot off in someone's, someone's, someone's ass. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I know. I, I, I like the version where you just started to go fund me and then hopefully everyone, ch everyone chips in. I don't know. That, that was, that was a lot to hear. And damn. Okay. Well, let me get your card before you get out of here. But speaking of people that need life insurance, uh, it's like watching your hot dogs and how they get made. I just didn't like hearing it. Ugh. Trump's going to kill us all, so it doesn't really matter paying your premiums, you know? We're all dead, okay? I love it. Some people that I meet, like, someone I met the other day, they're like, yeah, like, I have a great plot, you know, in my family's land out in Virginia. I was like, oh, you live in D.C.? You think you're going to have a grave plot? Like, you're going to be chilling with your buddies on the Georgetown waterfront, like, hey, yo, Brad, what's that huge bright flash of light? And then, dust in the wind, baby. It's gonna be like that scene from Terminator 2. It's like, no, stay there. <laughs> I've thought about this a lot, okay? I thought about this a lot. And I've told my buddies, as soon as I see that, fl that bright flash of light, instead of, like, you have two seconds. What are you gonna do? Call your mom the way. Verizon sucks. You're not gonna reach her. I was like, <laughs> in those last two seconds, I'm gonna grab my buddy's ass. Like, if I see a bright light, I'm gonna grab his ass. So the last fleeting mo moment that goes through his mind is, what the shit is, and then he'll never know. He'll wander this barren wasteland of a planet wondering if I was gay the whole time. He'll never know. But I, 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 we were talking earlier about comedy shows I produced, and I produced a comedy show at, at an old folks' home before. I did it. That was crazy. Okay, we ran like three shows there, and then we had to stop doing it, even though we were killing. We killed, we killed three people, uh, and they all had to go. I know what you're thinking. They all died of laughter. Wrong answer. One of them died because we were hooking up in the broom closet after my set. Gertrude, I'll never forget about you. This is for you, babe. Um, but no, when I got to this comedy show, it was great because there's never any comedy shows where it's all women. I walk in, all women. I'm like, give it up for other single ladies in the house. Two people dead. They wheeled them out. Uh, and I was like, oh my God, so many ladies. Like, is anyone here not single? Some old lady in the way back. It's like, Arr! she had to get an oil can. I'm not single. I was like, miss, what's your name? Yeah, you there in the back. You, you're, you're single? She's like, I'm not single. I'm like, get out. This is a singles only comedy show. Take the walk, granny. I let her stay. She almost got out of her seat. I let her stay. I was like, you know what? It's a two drink minimum, lady. Get this chick some apple juice. <laughs> and you know what? A shot of insure on me for everybody. Why? Because daddy's a good king. Like, what the What the hell? Moral story, go visit your grandparents, folks, because there's a very high percent chance I'm telling them dick jokes every second and third Wednesday at that old folks' home. Free Werther's. Free Werther's. 
anyway, I feel like I should get out on this. Uh, so yeah, so so comedy, uh, comedy is an amazing, awesome, beautiful thing, and you meet a lot of people through comedy. Um, uh, I, 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 my girlfriend comes to a lot of these shows. She's here right now. Clap it up for my amazing girlfriend. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. But you know, I feel like when I met her, uh, for those comedians in the crowd, a girlfriend is something uh, that you feed wine and cheese. Uh, <laughs> And then you get to have sex with it pretty often unless you're a total dick. But anyway, we just celebrated our eight-month anniversary, so I'm ending my set on a shout-out to her. Because if you're dating a comedian, you're flipping crazy. Anyway, thanks a lot, folks. My name's Brock Snyder. Keep it back in your house, Mr. Anthony Oates. <laughs> Woo! Yes. What did you used to do growing up? I've got to tell everybody this. Oh, my this. God. I'm sorry, Brock, but you got to share. We have we have 807 viewers right now and climbing, so okay, let's go. Like, climbing, baby. Climb. Climbing. Uh, my mother, uh, most people, w when, you, when you're growing up, you're nine years old or so, you get a sports dilemma. Like, sir, what did you do growing up? Taxes. Awesome. <laughs> 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 that was the insurance guy for those that can't see. What did you do growing up? Get into trouble, okay. Uh, I wasn't allowed to do that. Well, my mom, she's like, you gotta choose between two things, tap dancing and baton twirling. And I grew up to be the seventh in the world internationally ranked competitive baton twirler, so. <laughs> and you know what? Not gay. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, what? The bus is stereotyped what? out at what? Thursday Night Tea with ah. Anthony. Come right back. We have Commissioner Monique. She's going to be talking about what's going on in Ward 8. Thank you for tuning in for Thursday Night uh, Tea with Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> Woo! Get out of here. It's like I woke up and I was a comedian. And then it was like I had my own show. It's crazy. Oh my God, so we have Commissioner Monique Jope in the house. Hello, hello, hello. For Ward 8, hello. shout out to Ward 8. Ward 8, Ward 8, yes. We definitely um, love our community here in the District of Columbia. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. You have some very interesting programs coming up. Won't you tell us about them, please? Well, oh, where do I start? Well, you know. Start with you. Okay, well, I am Monique Jope, and I represent Ward 8. Uh, and my area is Bellevue, Fort Drum, and Blue Plains. So I have a large, a lot of land right there, and I have a lot of people that I service, and there's a lot of things that are going on in Ward 8. Oh. Yes. So one of the biggest things that are happening right now is Art All Night. Do you know about Art All Night? I do know about Art yes. All Night. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Congress Heights Chocolate City Edition. Hey. Yes, yes. And yes. in some parts, white chocolate, gentrification. Hey, we, we, well, you know, we love it all. So, you know, yes. it's a mixing pot here. So that's okay. So we have that going on. Uh, right now, I am looking for tutors. So if anybody knows how to tutor some little children, I am looking for you. So please come on out. In what subjects? Reading. Yes. Okay, do we have any reading? I'm calling all you Thursday nights. I like those. Thursday nights. Yes. 
Uh, reading tutors, we need them. You can contact me personally or just email to ThursdayNightTea at Yahoo.com. Yes, my children will love you and then the community will appreciate you. Yes, do something. Yes, please. And also, too, one big thing that we are doing right now, we are doing a trade show at the Bald Eagle Recreational Center. Okay, where's that? This is going to be, it's in the Bellevue area. It's on the top of Mount... Mar- Mar- Excuse me, Malcolm X. Excuse me, Martin Luther King Jr. Out of the <laughs> one of them, one of right, those great men. Yes, yeah. and um, in Bellevue, bald eagles where the bald eagles are born. Hey, yes. So we are doing a trade show. So basically, we are looking for individuals who are looking for a trade. Do you have a trade? You want to get into a trade? You want to go back to a trade? Come up and see us. Now, trade that could be electrician, barbering, cosmetology, carpentry. carpentry. Yes. You want to be like Jesus, going to carpentry, yes. working with your hands, and also working with your mind so if you have some something that you would like to learn rather it be the ones that he's already talked about auto mechanics also too with IT we are going to have people up there that's going to service you so please come up and see us it's going to be October 23rd and it's going to be a very great event yes ma'am uh, you are you also there's this one pro- program that we were laughing about the other day about the kitty cat. Are you talking about my cats and catnip? Okay, so let me tell you about this. <laughs> this is crazy. Yes, there's a program in Washington, D.C. from uh, the Humane Society, and it's called Catnip. So basically, you might see these little cats around the alleyways or whatever. Please don't shoot them away and don't hit them with cars, okay? Just don't. But these little kitties come around, and they co- they're collected. So whenever the... Um, Animal Rescue Leads collect these cats. They spade them, they are they neuter them, and then they also give them shots. So these are healthy cats. And they also return them back to the community. Do you want to know why they turn them back to the community? So they can be a predator. Yes. But would you rather have cats or would you rather have rats? Cat. Exactly. Team Kitty Cat yes. Thunder. Thunder Cat. Yes. Oh. <laughs> they keep your name. These rats say. are out of control. They have are. y'all seen these rats? They like are. they're almost like little yes. babies. Like yes. I saw ridiculous. one that had a pacifier. I'm like, dude, <laughs> like Shoot, one asked me for change. That's okay. No. But was it specific change? Was it like 37 cents? It was. I feel like you I know, know that red. I know that red. Yes. It's a tired of them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the red. Yeah, look at them. But, but now through the program called Catnip, there's another program. Not only do we fix these cats up, we hire them as well. What? Yes. Cats make him. Break yes. it up, break 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 it up. Blue collar cats, y'all. So if you got a rodent problem, make sure you contact the Animal Rescue League because they will hook you up with a cat that will chase all those little rats and pests away. Believe it. Yes, it's true. Oh my true. God, that is amazing. Give, I'll give them a round of applause for yes. that one because. We love animals. Yes. We do. They'll hook you up with a job and your cat. Yes, we hook everybody you up with a job. And your cat can be working. <laughs> Y'all better come get this money. Jobs for everybody. <laughs> that is crazy. You also do something else. You what are a that? storyteller. I am a storyteller. And you just got, what did you just, you just got booked for something. You're uh, well, actually, that's little. That was just. Oh, okay, yes. yeah, okay. Yes, I don't want to do yeah, myself. Okay, just we want. Yeah, you know, uh-huh. I haven't blown up as like, as you. Uh, oh you know, no, right now, so, no. Yeah. So I'm just still stepping up the ladder. So yeah, I do stories with Story District. And okay, it's Story awesome. District. Yes, before they used to be called Speak Easy DC. Mm-hmm. So if you have a story and everybody has stories, just come on up and you. They also offer classes. They offer. Uh, boot camps, and they allow you to tell your story in a funny way that brings people in, keeps them engaged, and also gives you an endearing audience. Commissioner, where can people find out more information about your programs? Well, um, I am pretty big on Facebook. I know I should be on Instagram and all the other little things. It's so much to keep up with. Like, anybody got time for that? But, I mean, if you call me at 202-905-6800, I always pick up my phone. Also, too, all ANC commissioners can be found on ancfinder.com and, of course, our government website, anc.dc.gov. And so I am from 8D04. So all of ours have 8D04, 8D05, 8 or whatever <laughs> at anc.dc.gov. Okay, what is that? Now this here, I also do this on the side. So I make elixirs and things like that. You know, I'm really into healthy things. Okay. 
Um, now, I don't know if I should say this on the air, but I don't take any type of drugs. Okay. And that includes medication that they try to push on us. Okay. So, you know, if I have high blood pressure, believe me, I'll make an elixir to get rid of this. Okay. If I have cholesterol, I know what to do to get rid of it. Exactly. And I don't take flu shots and I don't get sick. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this here I, I created for you. And this is called my funny Greek rub. So I'm looking at your hair and it's all beautiful. You really don't need it. But you know, some of us have problems Thanks with our Russia. edges. This helps you with your edges, with bald spots. It helps you with inflammation. And basically what it is is just fenugreek. It's aloe vera plant, coconut oil, vitamin E, willow's bark, all rolled up in one. And it's awesome. Oh, thank yes, you. Yes, you're quite welcome. Yeah, we got to, I don't know what's going on with our edges these days. Like, we we need to um, a GoFundMe for our edges. We sure do. Um, <laughs> but I did hear that Google just, they have a new app that'll help you find. It's called Google Edges. It'll help oh, you find the old okay. edges that you lost. Y'all yeah. give the commission a uh, round of applause. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank We're you. We're going to come right back. Pay these bills and come back with the super hilarious Becca Lundberg. Yes, Becca. We'll be right back. This lady is amazing. She has always embraced me with open arms. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the super hilarious Becca Lundberg. Thank you. Is this on? Is this working? I'm bad at technology. We're good. Guys, I'm so happy to be at the studio today. I usually perform at bars, which is fine. But ladies here and ladies watching, it's inevitable we're gonna get some pickup lines, right? Yeah. One I get all the time is, is anyone using this chair? <laughs> so transparent, right? Oh my gosh. Um, another is, is this the line for the bathroom? <laughs> right? So desperate. <laughs> uh, but then there's my personal favorite. Is your friend single? <laughs> The games men play, am I right? There's hard to get and there's like impossible to get. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, but another thing, guys, oh my gosh. Like, I just feel like generally it's all hard. The game is hard. I'm bad at dating because I'm pretty nerdy. Um, I love fantasy films, I'll admit that. Anybody else here in the studio tonight into that? Yeah. What fantasy films do you like? Prove your love for them. Legend. Legend. Okay. Good one. Any more? <laughs> All right. We got to. <laughs> He's trying to like take away my joke. Um, <laughs> those are all good. Like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, typical fantasy films. Yeah. Yeah. Those are good, right? Um, but my personal favorite is When Harry Met Sally. <laughs> Because romantic comedies might as well be a subgenre of fantasy films, right? That's how I feel about it. Um, and I know that those movies are so unrealistic, um, but I just love them, especially the ones where someone's meeting up with someone they knew a long time ago. You know, they'll call them the one who got away. Men actually call me the one who won't go away. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you noticed. <laughs> I'll take it, right? It's hard out there. Because uh, it's like marriage license or straining order. Either way, the papers involve my name and his signature, right? <laughs> yep. He says potato. I say pay attention to me. Simple as that. 
Uh, but yeah, I don't have sex. Might as well get that out there. Um, but don't worry, it's for religious reasons, you know? Because men avoid me religiously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm not just going through a dry spell. Um, I am standing before you today at Live Vision, or Listen Vision Studios, that is live. Um, a 25-year-old virgin. Yeah. I can, oh, thank you, wow. Thank you, yeah. At least that's the only clap I'll get, right? <laughs> yeah. Only clap I'll get. Uh, if it's fun fact, you factor in inflation. I am the 2017 reboot of the 40-year-old virgin. Steve Carell's breakout hit that we all love. And I'm at the point where I compare my vagina to a elimination Barbie doll left in its casing. Bear with me here. Because uh, at first, I thought I was protecting something really special, right? But after a while, I realized, probably should have just let someone play with it earlier. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Except 20 years from now, unlike the Barbie doll, probably not going to be able to trade my vagina in for a ton of cash. <laughs> Just a guess. Um, though I do have a little bit of hope because recently at a show, a woman interjected and said, actually, it depends on where you go. And I don't appreciate hecklers, but I consider that networking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Because that's how I met my new travel agent, <laughs> right there. I'm going to leave you all with that. I'm Becca Lundberg. Have a great rest of the show. Becca, Becca, Becca. Come back, come back, come back, Becca. I'm coming back, okay. So where can we find <laughs> you? run shows, right? Where, yes. You're at the Pinch? Yes, okay, so a couple things going on. Uh, the Pinch is every Tuesday at 9 o'clock. It's an open mic. So for any listeners who want to try out some comedy, come on out. Uh, the last try it out, Friday. Try it, out, try, it out, try it out. Yes, the last Friday of every month at Habana Village in Adams Morgan at 8.30, we have charity shows. And also, one more thing that I'm really excited about, we were talking about Harvey, it's totally devastating. Um, at Draft House Comedy in DC, next Tuesday, September 6th at 7.30, there will be a benefit show. So definitely show up and show up for that. Donations are collected there. You can go on the website, definitely check it out. Well, that's what's going Becca, on. Yeah, give Becca another round of applause. Yeah, thank we're you. We're gonna take a short break, and we're gonna come back with our new game show, The Price is All Right. We'll be right back with Thursday Night Tea with Anthony. Oh my God, it's like I woke up and I was a comedian. And then it was like I had my own show. It's crazy. Thursday night 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 tea, 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 Thursday, Thursday. Welcome back to Thursday Night Tea with Anthony. We have an amazing game show for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Price is All Right. This 
This is where we take stereotypically racist items and we're going to have the studio audience guess the price. Whoever guesses the closest to the price goes on to the Super Showcase. Woo! Now, you can't see our studio audience, but you'll be able to see the winners when they guess our first item. It's gotta go. Okay. <laughs> so, first item today is a KFC family bucket meal. <laughs> it's a 12 piece, three large sides, and six biscuits. You have Five seconds to guess the price. Are you ready? Kylie, what's your price? $13.99. $13.99. Brock, your price? $23.50, Bob. $23.50. Ma'am, what is your price? Does it include watermelon? It includes watermelon. <laughs> Twenty-eight ninety-five and Becca. Sixteen thirty-nine. Sixteen thirty-nine. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Nineteen ninety-nine. Fifteen twenty-five. Does biscuits go with that? Six biscuits. Fifteen twenty-five. What did you say? Twenty-eight ninety-five. What did you say? 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 Monique, you're the winner. Show them it's thirty-two dollars and nine cents. So, Monique, you get to move to the showcase round. Congratulations! Come up here on the stage. Give Monique. You're the next contestant on the prices all right. Now, the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Our next items are tiki torches, a twelve pack. The canister is reinforced with metal rings and they're four feet high. How much is this 12 pack of tiki torches? How much are the tiki torches? Kylie. 49 $49.99. 47.50, Bob. 67.50. <laughs> 60.99. 60.99. Thirty dollars. Fifty-two ninety-nine. Forty-eight ninety-nine. Forty-eight ninety-nine. Congratulations, you're the winner. A oh, twelve pack is thirty-one sixty-five on Amazon. All you racists can go out and get all of your tiki torches. Oh, no, I've now the final one. Okay, Our final prize. The final gift offer is. A Make America Great Again hat straight from the Donald Trump website. All right. okay. Are you ready? Guess your prices. $12.99. Which one? Two seventy-two. <laughs> okay, <laughs> two seventy-two. Five dollar. What'd you say? Twelve And what'd you say? Eight ninety-nine. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Two seventy-two. Five dollar. You're the winner, Kylie. Yeah. It's twenty-one dollars and thirty-nine cents. Can you believe that? It should be free. You should actually pay me to wear the hat. <laughs> Now, here, you're going to need your paper. There you go. Now, these are our showcase contestants. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. Yeah! This game is hilarious. So, two minutes. Here we go. We only have two minutes left, so we're going to go to, this is the showcase. So each, there are three things in the showcase that you have to bid on. The, num the first thing is, a new car! Woo! This is a brand new car. Exactly. Insurance included. So that's your first gift in the showcase. The next one is a travel guide. So that should clue you into your final gift in the showcase, which is a trip to Africa. Yeah! Visit the motherland. So you have
have a new car, a travel guide, and a trip to Africa, what are your, place your wedges, wages. Place your bets, place your bets. I love that little. Are you ready? In the middle. No, total. 6,900. 7,000. 17,289. And what was yours again? 6,900. What was yours again? Congratulations, Kylie. You're the winner. You win a hug from the host. Oh, I know my hugs are amazing. I want everybody to come up. Yeah, everybody can come up. Come on, really, everybody can come up. Hey, I like to thank everybody. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, we're just taking pictures. We're taking pictures. Picture time. Picture time. Picture time. I like to thank everybody for tuning in to Thursday Night Tea with Anthony. We got spotlight over the city coming up next. Three Six Nation was before this. Um, we, I have, I think on the 11th of September, I'm gonna be at the Draft House with Paris and Rollo. Um, September Sunday, I'll be at the Purple Lounge with Rudy Wilson. Um, my first headlining show. Um, what do you got coming up, Becca? Um, if you're in Baltimore tonight, I have a show at the Crown at nine. It's called Sex Party, so take of that what you will. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Brock, what shows you got? Hey, if you live in a luxury apartment complex and you pay $2,600 a month, give me a call. Otherwise, <laughs> screw you. Shout out to Jeremy here at Listen Vision Studios. Shout out to our engineer, Jacob, my assistant producer, Kevin. Love you guys, and thank you for tuning in to Thursday Night Tea with Anthony.